Conjugation of a molecule doesn't only affect its physical properties, it also affects the way that our molecule reacts. So previously we discussed the reaction that, take pl that takes place between HCl and the following 1,3-butadiene under low temperature conditions. So we basically said that the first step in our reaction is the protonation step forming the following resonance stabilized structures and the second step is the addition of our Cl which forms two different products. So this chloride can either add to the second position carbon forming the 1,2 product or it can add to the fourth carbon forming the 1,4 addition product. Now we said that when the temperature is low and when we have not enough time, so when the time is limited in our reaction, then we form the 1-2 addition product over this product. So this is the product that predominates in our reaction. In fact, under low conditions, we have about 75% of this product and 25% of the 1,4 product. However, when we are under harsher conditions at high temperatures and when we have an unlimited amount of time for the reaction to actually take place, then in that case, the product that predominates is the 1,4 product. Now the question that we want to explore in this lecture is why? Why is there this preference over one product compared to the other? So the first question that we want to look at is which one of these two products is the more stable product? So basically, the 1,4 product is the more stable product, but the question is why? Why is the 1,4 product the more stable product? Well, the answer to this question lies in an examination of our double bond. Notice that in the 1,4 product, the double bond is di-substituted. So in this case, the double bond is bonded to two carbons. But in the 1,2 product case, our double bond is mono-substituted. It's only bonded to a single carbon on this side. So we only have this one here, but we have two carbons bonded to each side, carbon 1 and carbon 2, on that product. And that's exactly why this is the more stable one than this product. Now, the fact that it's more stable means that it is lower in energy. And if it's lower in energy, that means the 1,4 product is thermodynamically more favored than our 1,2 product. So basically, when we have enough energy in our reaction, that is, when the temperature is high enough and when we are given enough time for the reaction to take place, that's exactly why the 1,4 product will be the one that predominates. So this reaction takes place, if it takes place at a high temperature and when enough time is given, the 1,4 product will predominate over the 1,2 product. Now, the next question that we want to look at is, why is it that when we have a low temperature and not enough time, why does the less stable product form over the more stable product? Well, basically, when we're dealing with low temperatures, kinetics takes over. When we're dealing with high temperatures, thermodynamics takes over. Remember, thermodynamics is the field that deals with stability, while kinetics is the field that deals with our rate of reaction, the speed of the reaction and the transition state. So basically, we want to answer what happens when low temperature conditions are used and when not enough time is given. So the fact that under such conditions, the 1-2 product predominates basically implies that 
that type of reaction, the formation of one, two product from this intermediate takes place faster and so has a lower activation energy than the formation of the one, four product from this intermediate carbocation. So remember, the rate of the reaction deals with the activation energy, the activation barrier. So let's look at the following two graphs. So the y-axis is the energy, the x-axis is our reaction progress. So we begin at the same exact position. We begin at this intermediate here. So let's assume that these are at the same energy level. So basically we begin with this intermediate that is resonance stabilized and then when we form the 1-2 product, the 1-2 product energy level will be higher than that of the 1-4 product because as we mentioned earlier, the 1-4 product is di-substituted, the double bond is di-substituted and so it is thermodynamically more stable and so is lower in energy. However, we we see that at low conditions and we don't and when we don't have enough time the rate of the reaction of the formation of one two product is faster and that implies that the activation energy is smaller than the activation energy of this reaction and that's exactly why this takes place faster than this so basically we see that under low temperature conditions when we don't have enough energy in our system in our reaction the reaction that, uh, that takes place is the formation of one two product because the activation energy is smaller so this reaction does not take place readily in our condition of low temperature because we simply don't have enough energy and we don't have enough time for this reaction to actually take place. So the more stable product is formed slower because it requires a greater activation energy than the less stable product. And this is why under low temperature conditions there is simply not enough energy to overcome this large or relatively large activation barrier and that means this reaction will not readily take place but this this reaction will readily take place. So we conclude that under harsh conditions of high temperature and enough time, unlimited amount of time, thermodynamics takes control. But under low temperature conditions, under mild conditions, and when we don't have enough time, kinetics takes control. And that's exactly why the less stable one-two product is favored under low temperature conditions.